Hey YouTube, Angie here with Elevation DIY where we help you elevate your home to the next level. Hey YouTube, today we're going to be doing a couple of things, surprise, a continuation of lights. And first I wanted to thank you for coming and visiting our channel. Subscribe, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos that we update. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to take an ordinary placemat and an old shade that you may have around the house or one that you picked up at the thrift store. Take that shade, we're gonna combine them and I'm gonna show you how to just Upgrade your lights just like that. Hey YouTube, for the project that we're doing today, you're gonna need a hot glue gun, you're gonna need your placemats, you can even get your scissors ready because you're gonna need them and you're gonna get your uh, binder clips if you have some or you can pick some up for very cheap at your local superstore. You're gonna need your spray adhesive, some ribbon, and if you prefer to have bias tape, that would work out too because it already has a fold in it. And you're gonna need your ruler and your pen or pencil. I like to also have a wet towel on hand for the hot glue that gets on your fingers or even the spray adhesive that gets on your fingers. Gotta keep it clean. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So as you recall, we did our lamps last week. I took the old brass lamp that I had in my garage and I added some um, faux leather to it. And if you want to learn how to do that, I'll include the link right here. So this is the lamp and I kind of like the patina that's on here, how it looks aged and I like it around here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and decorate this shade and then I'm going to show you at the end how it looks. I purchased these placemats and off of Amazon and I'll put the link below. They come from the holiday um, section for placemats. They are heat resistant and that's important that I got that so that the heat from the light itself won't melt it. So uh, we're gonna adhere this to this and let's get some measurements going. Okay, so what I'm doing is you have your shades. You can get your shade, um, maybe one that you have laying around the house or one that you picked up at the thrift store for cheap. And we're gonna cover it with a placemat. So what you need to do is you need to measure, and I like to do the roll method. And I've already cut this, but I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Cause I'm gonna do something different. So I'm gonna pull this down. Here, got that in the middle. I was gonna do a fold over, but I'm not. So I'm gonna start here, and that looks about right. So let's start off by doing our measurements here. So we're going to follow along as we roll our shade to make sure we get our cut perfect because your shade is not completely round. So this helps you with making sure that you get your cuts perfect. So I'm gonna set that aside and we're gonna cut out our template and then we're gonna cut another one from this because you're gonna use two face mats for this. So for this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut on the, the inside of the line, not on the outside, on the inside of the line. And you'll see why after a moment. Get my glue. Okay. So 
So remember, I'm cutting on the inside of the line. And I'm gonna cut just a little bit in front of it, but still following my line. And these are just your regular placemats. I got these on Amazon and they were listed under holiday. So this is gonna be a template and this is gonna go, we're gonna do, start in the middle of the front. And if you see that leaves a little lip out at the top. I might need to cut just a little bit more because I want a little lip at the bottom as well. So let's just cut on the inside of this line just a little bit. And I'm still gonna follow my line. Okay, so let's see what that's looking like. Perfect. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna cut out a template. And when you get the placemats, they're gonna be bigger. They're your regular size placemat. And see, I've cut it down some, but that's your regular placemat. So I'm gonna line this up. Let's flip it over. Okay, and and we'll draw it out. Then we'll cut this one out. And as I stated before, you don't have to use placements. You can use material, wallpaper, pill and stick um, wallpaper. Now with your wallpaper, you don't have to use wallpaper paste or anything. You can use your spray adhesive for that. Okay, there. So we have our template and let's move this out the way. Okay. We're gonna lay that down flat. I'll put our stuff over to the side here. And I've noticed that with the spray adhesive, you get an overspray. Today I'm gonna to be using my 77 by 3M Super. Remember, you have to shake these. Shake your glue. <laughs> shake it real good. And you want to spray your shade and you want to spray your placemat. And then just allow it to become like tacky to your touch. And then you can put them together, that'll give it a better um, seal and connection. Help it stick better. So we shake it. And then we're gonna spray this. So let's go ahead, so. Get it on there. Like that. Okay. So, gonna give it a couple of seconds. I'm. I was gonna count, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> so, shouldn't be long. Make sure 
sure I got it good down here. And around the top. Okay. And even a shade like this with this pattern, you could even paint it. And because it's not just a flat shade, the texture in it would be nice as well. So let's take our placemat. Get off of there. And we're gonna center it by this dot over here and we're gonna make sure that we leave an edge at the top. And a little bit towards the bottom. And we're gonna rub that down. Okay, let's move that over. Perfect. Then you can even rub your hand on the inside Give it a minute. You can grab your hot glue gun, have it nearby, and your glue sticks, have them nearby. Now I did tell you, you can use bias tape. The bias tape has a fold in it, so it'll go around there. Um, I did one where I use ribbon and I'm trying to kind of like do I want to use the bias tape or do I want to do it with ribbon because they're the same lamp I think I'll do that I think I'll do that I'll do them in ribbon I'll show you the ribbon okay so I think we're about ready and this one we're going to center and it's going to fold over that side but the, and that's quite all right. And be careful when this will start to stick as soon as you set it down. And it's gonna overflap that, which is fine. And overflap that, which is fine. Okay. Smooth it out. Okay. And for my size, I'm gonna put some hot glue gun in there. Not hot glue gun, hot glue in there. So I'm gonna lift it up and put me like a bead of hot glue there to help it uh, seal a little bit more. All right. It's already sticking, so that's a great thing. I want to put just a little more security on that. And run your finger across there. That's when your wet towel comes in handy. And be careful with high glue guns. You never want to touch the tip because that's hot. And you will get burnt. So do this side. Don't worry about it if your ends look like that, that's fine. I've never liked things on my fingers touching, you know. So, 
Okay, I digress. We're gonna cut that little edge off there with our scissors. Okay, and let's see here. I want a little more edge right there, so this. And if you've got a straight edge razor blade, you could do that too. But I like the scissors, I have a little more control. look around see if you are comfortable with it like this side I'm gonna cut this off So there, got a little lip going all the way around. And you just need a little lip. Okay, so, got our seal here. And this is, if you notice, there's a seam in here. This is the back. Okay, so I wanna start my, laying down on my ribbon on the back here. Cut this just a little bit. Alrighty, so we're gonna measure some ribbon out. And I just got some silver ribbon. And I'm just gonna show you a little bit what that bias tape would look like. And take it off, but this is the bias tape. If you wanted to have the fold all the way in, you would just put that in the fold, put your hot glue and glue that along. You know, just go all the way around like that. Okay, but I want mine to be cohesive, so I did one and I did it with ribbon, so I'm gonna do this one with the ribbon as well. Okay, so you're gonna take your hot glue gun and let's measure out our ribbon first, okay? Do -do -do. So I'm gonna start here and go all the way around. I'm gonna go a little bit past and cut it straight across. And you wanna not, you wanna measure on your shade because every shade is not the same. My shade might be smaller than the shade that you wanna do or bigger than the shade you wanna do. So make sure you measure this on your shade around your shade. So we got our two ribbons and we're going to start at the back which is here. We're going to take a dab, a little dab of glue and put it right there. And we're going to take our ribbon and we're going to lay it in there right at the top. You want to get your seam of your ribbon right at the top and that's where that over itch comes in so and we're just going to follow this um, let me get some of that lip off there and because of the ribbon that's why I said don't worry about the jaggedness but we wanna keep our bead of glue towards the top. So I'm dragging my hot glue gun across so it won't be like really thick and I'm going up right up to the top visually and I'm running my finger across it. And we're gonna follow this all the way around.
when you get to the end, I don't want to have this like frayed in there, so I'm going to tuck it. I'm going to do like a fold under. Then I'm going to put a bead of glue there. And I'm going to place it down in there. Like that. Okay? And then we're going to do the bottom. Start at the back again. But yeah, so I'm recording. do our tuck. Okay, and there you have it. And there you have it. All ready to go. Remember, we added our leather trim, faux leather trim last week. So, this lamp will be going into my bedroom. And if you see, I have the other two standing on the side waiting for their shades to go on them. So that's a quick and easy DIY that you can do 
on your own and with uh, lamps that you have around the house. I may even change the base, I'm not sure. When I do my bedroom reveal, we'll see what happens. But once again, a simple DIY you can do at home on your own. Change over those lampshades that you have just laying around or even ones that you pick up at the thrift store. I thank you all so much for tuning in. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos that we upload. And I'll see you in the comments. And thank you once again.